Crab Minotaur here, and today I'll be bringing you some Total Empire Total War. I keep wanting to say Total War Empire because all the other Total War games, apart from Napoleon, Total War's first. But no, not this time. This game, where do I start with it? I love the Total War series of games. There's going to be an awful lot of Total War on the channel, so it's going to be one of the main features throughout. This Total War game is one of the older ones. The reason I'm playing one of the older ones, I have nearly the whole series, apart from some of the really old ones. This was made in 2009. The reason I'm doing an older one is because I've got a very bad PC at the moment, because my good one broke, so I'm using my old PC. And, you know, it's thrown together with some parts from the new PC, and it can only just record this game. So, you may witness lag spikes in places, but I promise you it will not be too bad. The graphics are still on pretty high. The terrain and the sky look pretty low, though. So, but I promise you, as soon as my big PC is fixed, this will be running, this game especially, at maximum graphics. And we'll be playing ones like Rome 2 and Attila. Without further ado, let's start a grand campaign. Now, I'm doing a short campaign, which means it'll end in 1750. Which means that this won't last forever. Because in some Total War games, you can literally go on forever. But as soon as this wins, it'll probably end in defeat. I'm not sure though. It depends how well I do. I mean, I do win Total War games, but I have to hold all of these regions. I think some of them I start with, others I don't. So I'll have to keep checking. Now, we're playing as Spain. They own these small islands in America. Now, the British are here and here. I know that for a fact. So we need to keep an eye on them, because if they decide to invade, it's not going to look pretty. As you can see, they've got scattered bits of their empire throughout Europe. And then they've got their main empire here. The Ottomans are along here. They could present a problem. The, I forget what they're called, but the people that live here are also a problem. And there's loads of little factions around here, which if they team up against you and France, are a problem. Now, let's get started. I end this game and Total War, as I said before, very, very good. I'm going to be playing SimCity and this to start with because, as I said, bad computer. But as soon as, like, I'm up my other one, the CPU blew up. So, I'm getting a new CPU for it. It'll just be an i5, you know, nothing Your super first special. Priority should be to protect your European possessions outside Spain itself. Flanders, Milan, Sardinia, Naples and Sicily are under threat from Protestants in the north and marauding Muslim powers in the Mediterranean. You will need to expand your armed forces in order to protect them. The heretic United Provinces have already risen up and reclaimed part of their homeland. It may only be a matter of time before they move against Flanders, so building up your forces there may also be wise. Although, try to avoid provoking the French or British in the process. In addition to its European possessions, Spain should also maintain trade routes to its Caribbean colonies, at the same time protecting them from both the United Provinces and Britain, who are very active in the region. Given the chance, Rogue states such as these will cut you off from a major source of your wealth. So destroying their activities here may be the way forward. Right, so in real history, Britain take Gibraltar eventually. Not in this century, this is in Napoleon total war. Britain owned Gibraltar, but here we still own it. Portugal I'm not sure what our relations are with them, in fact I'm going to check straight away. Because they are so very close, although they're only a minor nation. Hostile. So as I thought, Portugal we're going to have to go to war with, most likely. Now, what units do I possess in my power? Some very nice cannons here. And some 
Irish Brigade. I know for a fact because I've played. At, I'm doing a campaign on my own as England. That those Irish Brigades are very hard to fight against, even when you're the British. So I'm going to be getting some of them. Can we build anything military? Yes, we're going to save up for that. Now research. First things first, we're going to research plug bayonets as they help you in melee and in this land, well in this game it's very important and in our position because especially for our possessions over here because the Muslims here, the Ottoman Empire, they have an awful lot of melee units and over here, if we come all the way down here, these guys like to declare war on people over here and they'll you'll think oh they're miles away they're not gonna but then somehow when I was playing as England they managed to get armies to me and harass me with swords and shields so I might do a playthrough as England at some point anyway without further ado let's get on with this so I'm gonna end my turn pretty quick to start with because there's always not a lot to do for the first couple of turns I'm gonna press space so that these guys move around a bit quicker. Now I wasn't sure who to play as to start with because England are very overpowered and they're easy to play as in general. They are the most well trained army at the time. Their melee attack is stupidly high. I mean they were like it at the time so it's historically accurate. But you know I thought let's play. At first I was thinking the Ottomans but then they're so like I played them in a battle, just a normal like battle to see how what they were like. They were so bad, like morale wise. You just got walked over. So I decided let's play as Spain. Another touch that you hear in this game is when I select my units in a second. After the pirates have had their turn, they are very oh well. This got that's going pretty quick. We're gonna defend this is in the Caribbean by the looks of it. And we've been attacked by pirates, so let's just sink these guys. Naval battles I love in this game. I mean I tend to I really hate them in Rome too. I prefer land battles. Because the navies in Rome too, you know, there's it's not much shooting. Sorry, that's just me moving my headphones off my desk. Um, yeah, there's not much shooting, whereas in this, it's really... Has someone betrayed us? Has someone changed sides? Or is they coming as reinforcements? Because I swear we had three ships. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but... I guess we'll see. Selecting the boarding button orders an attempt to board, closing with the target and sending an armed group aboard to capture it. This calls for a high degree of skill and courage in the marines or crew taking part, but depriving the enemy of a valuable ship is the prize. Boarding actions can be... Right, I'm just going to stop these guys from talking. I should really have turned the visor off. I'll do it next time we go to the campaign map. Because I'm not having him in them interrupt me every five minutes. I think this was it, the slope. If this was a slope, yes. See, it's betrayed us and gone on to the side of the pirates. They're going to pay dearly for that, I assure you. Right, so we have the wind, so theoretically we should do very well in this battle. I mean, our troops have the wind over here. Here's our flagship. Admiral's flagship at the fifth rate. It's got 48 guns, which is very, very good. And this is just a slope with 18 guns. The San Dom Domasso? San Domasso. It's not like in a Total War Napoleon. I usually play as Britain, so all of the ships have very English names. You get them named after towns. There's one you start with called the Dolphin. Your Admiral's flagship is called the Rose. I will be playing through Napoleon, because it is one of my favourites. I mean, for ranged combat, it is one of the best. 
apart from Shogun, which I also have. So I'll do a playthrough of them. But I'm, what I'm most looking forward to is Rogue 2. Because it's my favourite out of all the Total War games. I don't know how we're going to do in this battle, because they have superior numbers. But again, that is only... Mm, it is a galleon. They're very nice looking ships. I wouldn't mind capturing that. Off of them. So here we go, the slope is about to open fire. So my plan here is really just to blast them. And if shit starts to go south, then... You know, I'm going to have to think of a new plan very quick. Because at the moment it is literally just stay alongside. In fact, I might cut round the front of their formation as we have the wind. Although it will give us a disadvantage when we come back, I don't think they'll be expecting it. The AI is on normal, so they're not going to be super good at strategy. Well, our Admiral's ship took a couple of hits. As you can see, one of the cannons has been destroyed, and four crewmen are dead. That's never good. I'm not sure mo what the morale is like on the Spanish units, because I play this game a lot as England and some of the African tribes, no not African tribes, American tribes, sorry. So, you know, I've never really played as Spain or France, I've just never found them appealing. I know they're really powerful nations, but I'm English, I've always liked playing as England most of the time, but I thought let's make a change. So then it'll be a new experience for me, which means I should probably do it better because I won't know half the stuff that's coming. <laughs> I do like the pans they leave, the trails the boats leave. They're very, they're not realistic as such, it's just a very nice touch. Hopefully this battle will not take too long. But I'm going to put it in this mode, maybe I won't because it makes the sound go away. We're going to break off now on individual attacks. Right, and you... The sloops, back. light guns and small crew make it unsuitable for direct confrontations. However, it is... There you go. Now we'll only come up with text. I'll remove him completely before the next video. But for now, easy text while we're in the corner. I mean, comment if you want him on. surrounded here. There's a lot of people on that rigging then. I'm not sure if you guys saw, but it was just like a blob. Are they trying to board us? That isn't a wise move. You have a crew of 50. You know what? I think they might actually be trying to board us. Yep, so they're trying. They're trying to board us. I'm going to select shot. This will allow... Hang on, let me turn the volume down on my headset. This will allow us to destroy more of their crew before we let, if we can get another volume. raising a fleet to take the fight to the sea. Also, we need to consider taking out the British Navy, because they spawn in as, well, like they were at the time, a superpower of the sea. The There's one of the aspects of the game that I was in the middle of talking about when the advisors started talking a couple of minutes ago. They all speak in their native languages. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Gonna Building farms here too. will help the population. Right. There you go. No more interruptions. So basically, they all speak 
in their native languages. He's not going to speak. If I click here and tell him to move, there you go. Right. So who's this? This is a gentleman. So we need to send him to this because it's got a school. Boost research, speed everything up. What can you do with here? Is this already Catholic? Yes. So you can't do a lot here, although, actually, if you could move to where the Muslims are, speaking of that, they're Morocco. Thinking I want to declare war on them at some point. For now, I'm just going to get that constructing, and we also had something to build over in Europe. The mainland Europe, to allow us to construct better men here, so we can take the fight to oh, yeah. the United Provinces, and maybe, like some of the Germans over here. This is all Germany was split into factions at this time. So fingers crossed we can take the fight to the Germans. Right, I'm going to spy on these guys with this guy. I mean, let's finish this. Ah, we've got a fleet here. I said I was going to raise one in America. Another thing I like about this game is it's one of the biggest Total War games. There are so many different theatres of war. I haven't got enough money to raise a fleet, although we are at war with the Cherokee Nations. We might be able to do that, actually, if we've got cavalry heavy. No. Okay, in two turns time, I'm going to attack the Cherokee Nation city there. Oh, the British are giving us a hand with those pirates, so they're not going to last very long with them around. Don't want to go to war with them just yet. In fact, I don't really want to end up with war at war with any superpowers, if I can help it. Right, I'll get our empire going, Spain going, and then we will have a look at what regions we actually need to take. But first things first, you've got to deal with the threats that are there to start with, because there are a lot of them. The bigger the empire, the more enemies you have. It's usually how it works. So England, everyone hates you. I mean, even some of my allies turned on me. But that could just be because I was demanding them around and stuff, declaring war on a lot of minor nations, you know, to expand the empire. But we're, we're not going to talk about my Britain saved the whole time. Now, Barbary states, I mean, this, everyone, and I mean everyone, seems to be at war with them in all the games that I've played previous. So Austria, who are over here somewhere, I think, well, way over there, in the other theatre, have broken their alliance with England. Captain Kidd has finally been brought to justice, apparently. This is all historical events that actually took place. We're going to get some... Hmm, they, I've never seen them. Get some archers, just because Rome 2 style, and some colonial-like cavalry. Right, once those two other units have been recruited. Okay, we're going to go over here. And he's going to start converting their religion. So hopefully when we take them... Let's build a... What was that? Some cotton plantation. So there's lots of plantations. Something that I've never really, like, used very much. I mean, as England, I did own a lot of this land, but we were always building the fur things, where we were taking it straight off the Aborigines, the natives. Right, so he's going to convert that from, I think it's Muslim at the moment. Too short, how do I... God knows, I'm guessing it's Muslim. That looks Muslim. If it's the same as these guys, I know the Ottomans are. So it's the same as... Oh, it's not going to say. Okay. Right. Oh, we have this. I haven't really noticed them. Who's this? Italian states. Who 
are we at war with currently? New Spain. Oh, that's trade partners. That's trade partners. Okay. Cherokee nations, Plains nations, and Barbary states. I did say about Barbary states. I mean, look at this. I don't think you can play as them, but look at that. There are literally 20 countries at war with them. There are only like 30 in the game. So, more for them. But usually, surprisingly, they don't get wiped out. Right, that's enough talking for this turn. We need to really start doing stuff pretty quick. How big's my army now? Who are we at war with here? Barbary States, obviously. Who's are these guys' allies? Let's go to war with them. Let's go take their land. So Britain, as you can see, oh, have just declared war on us, actually. So this turn could be very long and interesting if they decide to attack. Who's refused to join our side? Bulgaria, fair enough, you're right next to them. New Spain, I've never really come across them. They always get wiped out pretty early on. I don't actually know where they are on the map, off the top of my head. We'll probably do about another two turns in this episode, unless a battle happens. Give region... No, we're not doing region givens, we're not getting in that business. We don't want to trade regions just yet. Right, I'm probably going to tr maybe try and break that siege of that port. No, Portugal are allies with England. We should be very careful with dealing with England. Because as I said, especially in melee combat, they are lethal. Can't emphasize that enough. If you play this game or are thinking of getting it, you do not want to end up. See, what have they got here? Oh my word. You have me on. Right, this will be the last battle of today, and it is going to be a victory. I can almost guarantee it, unless another slope betrays us. They're basically coming at us. Well, I'll show you what they're coming at us with. But this is what I mean. There's a big technological gap between the two nations of us and some of the other people around. So they are going to be attacking us with, and don't laugh when I say this, rowboats. They literally have rowing boats with sails on two cannons, as you can see here, they're using their oars, oh four, Cor I'm corrected, four cannons, I'm now very scared, not really, I look, it's literally, I don't know who's rowing it, that's always one of the funny things, even in Rome 2, that doesn't seem to be anyone on any of the oars, they're just rowing themselves, magical oars everyone, this ship is the only one that's an issue, if we've got the same we have more crew, so I'm instantly going to break off these guys, tell them to board that ship, and you guys can, like, pick on the first ship. Right, I'm just going to speed up until we get into the engagement, because I'm aware this video is probably dragging on. Very much. I might cut out some of the in-between turn stuff. Right, so we're nearly here now. This will be the last battle of this video, as I said, which may be longer than a normal video, because I'm not keeping track of time really very well. I just decided, spare the moment, uh, let's start our Total War series, because I've already started the SimCity series. I'm only going to have two going at once, so, you, so if you want to see Rome, obviously like subscribe and then like click the notification click the notification bar and it will, it will notify you especially if you have a phone 
See, this is what I don't get. This little thing has four guns, so does this huge thing. It makes no sense. probably conclude, well that will conclude this episode of to Empire Total War, I nearly said Total War Empire again. I may cut out some of the in between turns stuff if nothing significant happens, that may have happened, you may have seen that in the video if it's jumped a bit, I'm not sure if I will or won't because it depends how long the video is. So we've kept our units, they'll stay in the harbour. And that's it for now, so I will see you next time.